Hello everyone, welcome back to the Oxidev uh, channel. Um, here we are at the uh, part 2 of the technical, uh, it, it, technical um, overview, basically. Uh, just before we start, I think I'll, I'll go back uh, a little bit and explain uh, what Oxidev is about again. Uh, just to re refresh our uh, memories on that. Uh, Oxidev is a content value asset cross-chain ecological network. Basically, it is a blockchain as a service, uh, cross-chain and cross-platform network for content value assets, uh, which will enable the users and creators to, uh, to get services such as subscription, uh, integrated uh, asset uh, management services, content copyright confirmation, uh, uh, digital tokenized uh, offering, and content creation incentives. Of course, uh, the Oxidev network will be uh, will leverage the power of Polkadot and Substrate framework, and this will enable uh, Oxidev to co connect to other networks as well <clears throat> and have connect the connectivity to. Uh, parachains and so forth. Um, basically, the, the, the goal of uh, Oxidev is to, to complement uh, the work of uh, Web 3.0, uh, basically. So this, uh, as we've seen in, in previous slides, uh, this is the uh, Oxidev in a nutshell. We have the whole ecosystem here. And uh, I guess uh, in the last in the first part of the, the, the technical overview, we managed to look at the uh, asset trading platform. So basically, um, users are able to, to put their uh, assets, so to speak, uh, and trade their asset. So in, initially, uh, what I explained uh, earlier, uh, when a user put their, their assets on onto the network, they have a certain uh, pricing structure to it. Either they put their, their, their pricing uh, of the asset themselves, this is for the professionals basically, and uh, the second link, uh, normal users will be able to put their, their assets and their, their assets will be, uh, the price of their asset will be determined by the users. So to, if, if the asset is deemed to be of a certain quality, um, the value of it will go up as voted by the users. Uh, whereas if the, 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 the asset is uh, not so uh, up to, to a certain standard, users can uh, vote down the pricing of the uh, asset. So then this asset, what happened is it, it can be uh, traded onto the platform as well. So you look at the crowdfunding trading platform uh, on the net, uh, on the Oxidev network. Uh, IP components um, that have reached a value consensus through evaluation and voting um, can apply to on, for online launch of the OIP asset crowdfunding trading platform. So this means that uh, once the, the, the pricing is set and uh, by the users. Uh, but and, and put on the system, uh, the users, the, the, the owners can put put it for crowdfunding uh, trading as well. So the components that meet community conditions uh, will be proved by decentralized uh, de democratic governance uh, of the community and, and prepared for offering. Uh, after approval, the OPSI uh, IPSTO protocol module will complete tokenization of various decentralized smart IPs, contents, property assets, and customized uh, crowdfunding mechanism. So this will then determine uh, the ROI plan, roadshows, the advertising, uh, and so on that goes into the uh, crowd trading platform. Uh, the fourth point is the crowdfunding in different sectors um, will complete the tokenization and, and offering by the IPSD protocol and obviously smart contract clusters. After the completion of the crowdfunding uh, or direct tokenization of IPs and so on, the OUCG value uh, voting and evaluation system direct launch um, online to Z decentralized trading areas will be completed 
off-chain transaction matching, on-chain confirmation settlement, and uh, and so forth. So realization of the commercialization and value circulation of IPs, contents, and various properties at the very beginning after offerings, development and deployment of IPSTO protocols and Optus smart contract clusters have been completed. Uh, the whole uh, process will be implemented through uh, smart contract modules, right? So here we see the um, asset trading platform, what the asset trading platform is uh, technically. Of course, you can look at this in the um, uh, the white paper that will be will be uh, distributed uh, soon after this. Next, we look at the uh, uh, hybrid Oracle engine layer, which is what the, the, the second last layer of the uh, uh, Oxidev infrastructure. So we will build the uh, Oracle service uh, engine as a front Oracle network based on real situation, uh, while the off-chain work of the substrate uh, is the underlying sub subsystem capable of processing off-chain data in a synchronous manner, right? The off-chain uh, worker subsystem enables long-running and potential uncertain using of, of on-chain data and access. So on-chain main core is a data is data transaction core of the hybrid Oracle engine, mainly composed of Oracle integrated contracts placed in front of the Oxidev chain. It will interact with the uh, with the Oxidev chain and allow the, the Oracle contract API to be called for, for any user a demand that and demand Oracle services. This uh, is these main functions include off-chain node management, such as uh, registration, pledge monitoring, uh, payment, uh, processing of Oracle requests, uh, transmission of Oracle data, and feed on-chain data to off-chain nodes as well. And then uh, lastly, I think there are other components. Uh, protocols that, that run uh, within the system. Uh, so we have the Oxy Smart contract clusters, uh, protocol, content value promotion, incentive protocol, um, automatic uh, consumption liquidation and profit distribution protocol, uh, right authorization and protection, uh, content community governance, uh, contribution ass assessment protocol, token exchange con contract, asset hosting protocol, uh, crowdfunding smart protocol, insurance indemnity protocol, um, equity transaction assignment protocol, assets offering protocol, trusted third party agency custody protocol, call options, and credit identity protocol um, components. Now, we look at the multi role content value coordination ecosystem. So, uh, the chain would have. Uh, public change platform for the new generation of uh, IP content value system. Uh, Oxidev is committed to com maximize the value of each IP assets. Uh, so we look at the uh, content value, the value ecological architecture uh, that mainly composes of uh, three different systems, which is a technical system. Uh, we have the value system and we have the col collaboration system. The technical system is basically uh, the, the underlying uh, public chain, the Oxidive underlying public chain. Uh, while the value system is the OIP value incubation system and the OIP assets token system. And the collaboration system is the content decentralized collaboration system, which includes the uh, governance platform as well. So you look at uh, the diagram that uh, basically uh, explains the whole multi-role content value uh, coordination ecosystem. All right. So again, um, with Oxidev, we can uh, create a co-chain co storage and digital rights confirmation. This is uh, something that is important when uh, the asset is being Created in the, in, onto the platform, uh, we have a code co chain that, that uh, store and uh, uh, that have digital copyright confirmation as well. 
the uh, diagram below, um, as, you, as you can see, will be will will show you the the actual uh, platform of the uh, <coughs> coaching storage and digital rights confirmation. And here we have the uh, whole uh, flowchart of the IP content copyright flowchart. Uh, when the content is uh, created, uh, <coughs> the user created the content, and then the original content uh, will be put on the chain. Uh, then it will uh, go through the identity auth authentication and uh, copyright uh, counter <coughs> counterposing uh, truthy. It will then go to the ODNA copyright certificate. After that, the certificate uh, will go through the content copyright all chain regulation. And then it goes to the co content copyright uh, management system, content copyright trace evidence, IP content assets through the, the phenomenon, IT copyright raising and investment. And finally, the transparent point to point transaction of the uh, content. So now we look at the uh, IP STO NFT. This is interesting. Uh, the STO, the security token offering, uh, is used to tokenize all existing traditional assets such as equity and creditors' rights uh, and con convert these assets into securitized tokens on the chain, which must be applicable to regulation of federal securities code, of course. Uh, in terms of nature, the objects of the security tokenization equity uh, in terms of the final uh, object form, the object of securities tokenization of real estate ownership, real investment, real estate investment funds, gold, oil, artworks, copyright, digital, property rights, and, and the likes of it. So Oxidef is committed to create a new content value of ecosystem based on the ID, underlying technologies and smart contract rules. Oxidef will launch the intellectual property security token offering, IPSTO, as a new way to realize compliance and circulation of IP asset investment products. I think this I have already explained uh, on the um, uh, part one of this, this uh, presentation, um, where, where we discuss about the uh, possible applications of the uh, uh, Oxidef uh, platform. So the IPSTO module have the following advantages. It has intrinsic value. Uh, it has real estate or income to support its value, for example, IP dividend rights, uh, real copyrights, share of content enterprises, profits, and, and so on. Uh, automat automatic compliance and fast clearing. It covers the, um, uh, automates the uh, KYC and AML mechanisms and re realizes instant clearing and settlement. Uh, ownership division, so division of the asset ownership is accelerated uh, at the entry threshold of high-risk investment products such as film investment, high-end artwork. So every stakeholder will have their own ownership in the particular uh, IP, so to speak. Uh, democratization of venture capital uh, is a way to create to, to raise funds uh, by using this uh, IP uh, STO NFT. Uh, asset interoperability, the, sta the asset standardization protocol will facilitate interoperability of different assets of different legal currencies. So it makes the whole process uh, almost seamless and uh, easy for everyone to, to uh, initialize their, 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 their value. The sixth point is the module increases liquidity and market depth, definitely. Uh, users can invest in assets with, with poor, liquid, poor liquidity through the uh, ST without worrying about redemption. The rise of digital asset uh, will create incremental wealth uh, in the market, definitely. Uh, procedural market makers similar to Bangkok improve the liquidity of long tail STs uh, and asset interoperation protocol will promote transitional circulation of assets. The module reduces the regula regulatory risk and strengthens the due diligence. <coughs> everything is on chain, everything can see, everything, everything is uh, transparent, so to speak. 
Um, it is applicable to exemption of regulatory uh, offer, KYC and AML regulations of countries are written into smart contracts, which is expected to achieve automatic and programmable compliance. SD is expected to reduce circulation of cost, assets, cost of assets. Transaction frictions in the process is reduced. For example, the smart contracts is used um, to realize automatic, automatic uh, compliance in fund collection, link contract and account uh, reporting data, increase asset separability, and increase T plus zero clearing and settlement. Module is regulated by securities law and SEC, complies with laws and more, definitely more secure. And of course, this module supports uh, 24 hours trading. <clears throat> the IP STO module, uh, the platform will provide the securities token services for IP assets, copyright content equity uh, companies and help IP assets equity companies to realize and securitize their tokens. Uh, this uh, the, to the tokens that are based on ERC20 and subsequently migrated to OxyDev public chain uh, with the use of the underlying protocol and uh, compliance protocol. Uh, the platform will integrate audit institutions, legal consultants, insurance companies, uh, technology developers, investors, and exchange exchanges to provide standardized uh, processes such as KYC and AML, compliance services, taxation, and information disclosure. The OxyDev platform will be providing a series of standardized uh, interfaces uh, in the form of APIs in smart contracts and can be connected through different forms of products and assets and different contracts. And it will serve um, the subject unit for connecting the investors, uh, founders of the KYC, legal services, consultants, developers, um, all the stakeholders basically uh, can be connected through smart contracts and everyone can be transparent of uh, what their, their responsibilities are. Uh, so to speak. In, ad in addition, the OXV token simplifies the off-chain rights and interests, proof process, and does not need complex off-chain processes or higher costs to prove the relationship to the ST and the rights and interests represented by the ST. A smart contract can be used to realize ST and beneficial rights in the asset package itself. The NFT can um, respond to events in real world through, through the Oracle, which will become the next revolution in the uh, blockchain field. Um, this is something that we're working on. I, I think that the growth of the NF, NFT now is, is, is pushing uh, these uh, protocols and, and, and services. Uh, so we are trying to, to, to make it happen in, in a way that will uh, benefit uh, all the stakeholders basically. At present time, a certain uh, learning threshold exists for the issuance of NFT assets on the blockchain. Uh, this makes ordinary business companies unable to simply and conveniently issue and manage NFTs results in some consideration of privacy due to transparency of the blockchain. Uh, to, to resolve the issue, OxyDev will develop the OxyDev NFT, non-fungible token, uh, protocol, a dedicated protocol framework for NFT issuance management. NFT assets issued through the protocol network will not only run independently, but also interact and combine with each other to form new NFT assets. At present, the main NFT specifications are ERC721 and ERC1155 of Ethereum. So as this explains everything, the ERC721 721 is the initial NFT specification. Uh, smart contract manages multiple uh, NFTs, which is troublesome. So that's why we're looking at uh, the ERC-1155 instead. Um, both, both of these uh, protocols have uh, basic methods of asset transfers, asset authorization query uh, to the user. Uh, whom the asset belongs and query to the asset owner by the user. In addition, NFT of, uh, of ERC721 generally have the following attributes, token ID, uh, name, symbol, URI. 
So this is basically um, a diagram of the uh, Oxidef NFT module. We have the, we have the NFT bridge. Um, of course, again, this is uh, a concept that, that we're working on. We have the Oxidef uh, bridge module, which is interconnected to the uh, uh, bridge contract. And this will be uh, connected from the uh, Oxidef uh, chain to the ONFT protocol, and this ONFT protocol will be cre creating all the uh, all types of uh, NFTs, random NFTs, dynamic NFTs, uh, minting of burning and minting and burning of the uh, NFTs. Uh, it will be on on this uh, protocol itself, and then it will be connected to the product uh, to the Oracle, and the Oracle will have, have all the other uh, attributes as well. The Oxidef NFT module, uh, NFT protocol includes three modules. The first one is the standard protocols, which includes standard protocols of conventional NFTs, uh, random NFTs, and dynamic NFTs, and of course the standard interfaces. Second, uh, the NFT bridge protocol module, uh, which includes the uh, bridge contract and bridge module itself as you can see uh, and then uh, thirdly the on ONFT intel intelligent operating system the cloud operating system based on Oxidef is used to connect more protocols and framework and it includes modules such as, such as NFT wallet, uh, asset trading contracts, privacy security protection contract, communication components, tools and API as well. I guess this is something that we uh, discussed earlier on, the applications of the ONFT. Um, let's go through this one by one. Um, the application scenarios that, that, we, we, we can, that can be, be looked at, for example, we have games where the NFT can be used as pets, uh, weapons, clothes, and other articles in the games. Uh, in the... Uh, Intellectual property field, the NFT may uh, stand for a painting, a song, a patent, film, uh, photos, and other IPs. Uh, in this field, the NFT will play the role of patent office, helping the each each unique thing to, to register its copyright and helping to identify uh, the patent. In terms of, of course, art and digital art, um, Again, it's the same thing as the um, intellectual property. Uh, the blockchain can solve the issue of pro prov proving the ownership. The artists uh, no longer rely on third parties to collect, to protect their work, which saves intermediary media and ensures that the artist gets more income. And the tokenization of this digital art uh, has gained uh, a new impetus. It's easier to create work, to trade and obtain royalties from the NFTs itself. Uh, on physical assets, we can include um, real estate stock documents uh, as part of the NFT. We can di digitalize the whole process. Real estate can be tokenized on blockchain networks and become tradable tokens, easily exchanged in the secondary market. Uh, in this way, intermediaries such as brokers, banks, agents, and lawyers are not required anymore. Uh, NFT can also prevent disputes between buyers and sellers and property ownerships. And uh, the NFT can stand for land parcel of each area. Users can realize monetization of real estate by leasing it to another cooperative player, player or through advertising. Uh, in terms of record and identification, NFTs can be used to verify identities such as birth certificate, driver's driving license, academics, academic certificates. Um, all this can be stored securely in a digital platform to prevent abuse and tampering. In terms of advertising uh, and member rewards, uh, reward points can be generated uh, in real time uh, when the transaction happens. So, and it can be tracked in real time and then dynamically managed through issuance of NFTs. So this is something that is very new and 
it's very transparent to the, the, the issuer of uh, reward points. Uh, financial documents, we look at financial documents, you can have your invoices, uh, POs, insurance, all your, your you know, airway bills, whatever. Uh, it can be converted into transactions and it provides uh, tracking uh, for this uh, supply chain uh, document to be uh, on the digital platform and to be tracked digitally real time. Uh, another interesting uh, point that we might uh, apply this application is uh, through tickets. Tickets, uh, concept tickets, movies, drama, dramas, and, and uh, so on, uh, sports events uh, can be put on uh, an NFT. So each ticket is, is unique to itself. And um, it's all the same, but except for the, for the seat numbers or the allocation of the uh, uh, seats, so to speak. This basically ex uh, explains the uh, process of the issuance, ST issuance process and standards. So as you can see, there's six steps uh, that uh, are required. Let me see, it might be, uh, yeah, six steps that, that, that's required. So we have IP assets, copyright content companies generate their own OST over the OST protocol on the uh, Ethereum platform. Uh, which will be later moved to the OxidF main network and becomes universal. Uh, all tokens are in the project and no transaction is supported until compliance procedure is completed. Uh, the second step is the IP uh, companies select legal agents on the, on the network itself and jointly complete the compliance procedure. Uh, after the, the ST is issued by the IP asset copyright content equity companies pass the issue review to third party or the institution trading restriction of the, co the, the tokens are set according to the compliance compliance requirements uh, for example only compliant investors can can purchase uh, the sts the said sts uh, step number four is the ip uh, copyright a company select technical de developers on the platform and write trading restrictions suggested by the legal agents on the smart contract basically. Investors complete the, the KYC and AML through KYC service providers on the platform and the final step is investor purchase the tokens meeting their conditions through USDT. Both the OST and OCP issue decentralized compliance protocol based on OxyDev platform. So this will be the uh, actual uh, issuance process and standards that, that we are going to follow with the ST issuance. Now the plan is basically uh, is to create the underlying infrastructure uh, of innovative content and the value asset ecosystem of new content to realize decentralized development and create the value co collaborative ecosystem uh, supporting self-operation of content itself. Oxy will be used as a pass token in the OxyDev platform and the network operation and application consumption in the OxyDev platform need to be realized using the OX, OVX token, OXV token. So um, with this token, uh, the uh, when, when, when we issue the, the uh, OXV token, this, this token will be used to motivate the participants and builders of the uh, ecosystem to quickly establish a full chain collaborative ecosystem of new content value. The OxyDev token is issued based on OxyDev technology. It has the attributes such as no tampering, additional issuance, rights anchoring, authenticity, privacy, and security. So you can make all behaviors such as deposit, transactions, and circulation of more convenient and transparent in the uh, OxyDev platform. Realizing on the, re relying on the characteristic such as unlimited segmentation, free and flexible and full chain circulation, OXV token implements function as exchange, transaction, and value evaluation. And of course, uh, 
uh, with this token uh, execution through Oxy Smart uh, Contract Group. So to realize the, the decentralization and uh, in, to ensure finance and justice uh, of the whole uh, ecosystem. So the OXV token will be an extremely important token in the OxyDev platform and ecosystem. It will be used uh, in the operation of the overall system uh, platform and ecosystem. And it will be the core object for realizing value, mutual collaboration, uh, self-operation, and decentralization. Right. So we look at the uh, ecological purpose of the token. The token, the OXV token. So it will be to create uh, to, for content creation and registration. We look at the uh, ecological purpose on top of the diagram to create uh, to, for content creation and registration. Uh, then there will be a distribution of content and sto content storage, a proof of identity and rights interests. So each system of the OXV platform will be used. The amount of OXV token held as standard for measuring credit and reputation. On the um, content promotion and behavior of incentive, so users uh, can complete the promotion and marketing of content from the OXIDEF ecosystem as well. Uh, for example, browsing, giving thumbs up, forwarding, uh, commenting, uh, all this can be used to gain incentive, which will be uh, given in the uh, in the form of the OXV token. Creation of content community and join to create content community uh, in the OxyDev system. User needs to, to pledge part of their OXV uh, token and lock or pledge the uh, OXV uh, when. It, it, the, 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 the pledge will be will be held uh, by uh, the, the system and it will be unlocked only when the user exits from the community and the community is dissolved. So the community members can be used to, to vote uh, and exercise the governance right and support. This I explained this earlier in the, um, the first part of this um, uh, presentation basically. And then uh, we look at the uh, content recreation. The OXV will be paid and consumed for registered content and use of copyrights according to the fees set by the content creator. Uh, and then for the platform uh, administrator, we look at the, uh, uh, according to the main network of OXIDEF going online at that time, the node governance and operation plan will be set. Those who become nodes and the, govern uh, the governance platform uh, will need to pledge their OXV to, and obtain consensus and recognition. In the future, they will obtain incentives from OXV of the entire network. So this is something that is very interesting that we're, we're working on. Uh, next, we look at the uh, user-generated content library. Uh, the OXV, OXV is consumed for this decentralized value forecast and voting. Uh, content creator creates and publicizes the incentive communication chain and users can obtain the OXV through the communication behavior. Uh, on the IP asset crowdfunding trading platform, the OXV will be used in a series of core transactions as assets issuance, asset transactions, exchange service fee, uh, crowdfunding margin, transaction uh, handling fees, the sky is the limit basically. On the peripheral deriv derivatives, OXP will be used for IP uh, peripheral der derivatives, for example, exchange of peripheral derivatives such as movie tickets, uh, animation dolls, and so on. And then we have the proof of identity uh, and rights and interests. All systems in the OxyDash platform will be using the amount of XB token held as standard for measuring credit and reputation. Uh, we also look at uh, the use of the OXV uh, token on uh, decentralized apps. Uh, the decentralized applications of various content businesses can design their own economic models. Uh, 
uh, and ecological use of Web3 to expand users and create their own new business model. As for the uh, technology users, we look at the main uh, network functions. Of course, the, o, the OXV will be used for service uh, charge deduction uh, in smart contracts creation, deployment, uh, network transfers, and application use in subsequent uh, OxyDev platform and its applications. Uh, of course, again, and on the technical service, the OXV will be used as the object for payment and technical services fee for various content and enterprises to issue IPSTOs or adopt technical services of uh, the OxyDev network. Still at the uh, technology users, uh, we look at the uh, technology community incentive. The OXV will be more will be the core incentive asset for building OXV technology community and creating technology partners. In addition of the above, the application consumption of uh, scenarios in the OxyDev platform and ecosystem OXV token will be used as more functional uh, applications such as investment, dividend receiving and payments in the IPA industry chain in the future. Many scenarios demand more and more OXV and the rapid development of the OXV ecosystem, the value and desire of the OXV token will be higher and higher. Now, you might be wondering when will all this be happening? So we have a basic roadmap uh, being uh, laid out. Uh, as I mentioned earlier in the first uh, video presentation, uh, in 2020, when the pandemic happened, uh, we had this idea in plan. So what we did over the last one year is we put everything on, on paper. And these are the plans that are being developed at the moment. So the project was initiated in 2020. The project team established. Uh, the ecological infrastructure and design has been planned by then, back then. In Q1 uh, this year, we have uh, we have started the uh, white paper uh, production, and then uh, we are looking at uh, to produce to produce the whole white paper thing in Q3. Uh, basically, uh, the chain will be developed uh, within the, the Q Q2 2021. We're looking at the main net to be up and running uh, basically in 2020. We will share to you, with you this, this uh, roadmap in detail. And you can see the whole um, plan that is being laid out when the, the timeline for each, for each uh, event. Right? Now, just to see who is behind Oxidev, uh, I've already explained earlier in the first. Uh, the first uh, video, the first part of this video, uh, who am I? Uh, my name is Kamal Zamri. I'm the co-founder, uh, the, the founder and CEO of Oxidef Private Limited. Uh, our chief technical officer is Ahmed Salim. Uh, he has been involved in blockchain uh, research for more than a decade, basically. Um, did a lot of uh, blockchain projects, participated in uh, uh, projects and development of the um, uh, blockchain. He has uh, worked with a lot of partners and known brands and institutions as well. And next, we have the our chief financial officer, or CFO, uh, Sepulami. Uh, he has also been involved in. Uh, the industry for more than a decade as well. Uh, it's more on the financial sector, basically. Deutsche Bank, Dutch ING Bank, Dutch Bank, and, and uh, a host of other banks as well. So in 2013, he began to look at <coughs> uh, basically fintech, and from now, from from there on, I guess there were no uh, turning back for him. And last but not least, we have Hardy Esner, who is our team coordinator and developer of uh, OxyDev uh, 
platform as well. Of course, we are looking at uh, more people joining our team uh, to spearhead this this project and to speed up the project deployment as well. And last but not least, here's our contact page. You can write to us in our official email, support at protonmail.com. Our Discord server is uh, as, as uh, displayed uh, on the screen. Uh, we also in Reddit, definitely. Uh, we have two channels in uh, Telegram. Uh, on GitHub as well, we have all the codes uh, on GitHub. And we are also on Twitter. Um, I suppose um, we will be having our uh, own uh, YouTube channel uh, for more videos to come. And uh, I think that's all for me uh, at the moment. Uh, look out for us again. Um, new videos will be coming out uh, as we go along the, ro uh, the, the roadmap. Um, we will present to you the uh, milestones that we have achieved. So the next videos will be, be coming uh, your way pretty soon. With that, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the future. Thank you.